Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. I'm here at Inner Bootworks in Stowe, Vermont. Got some 2023 K2 ski boots on the wall behind me here. And this is definitely one of their flagship models. This is the K2 Mindbender 130. Certainly following on the heels of the Mindbender ski line. Uh, this one has free ride written all over it. Uh, so kind of the new thing in the ski boots is having tech fittings in a walk mode basically built into a high-end Alpine boot. And that's what they've got with this Mindbender 130. 98 millimeters in the forefoot last, pretty low over the instep, pretty low volume fit overall. Uh, so it does have that high performance, high precision fit uh, to go along with that pretty stiff 130 flex. Uh, you know, they're getting really good at these uh, power locks these days, so you don't lose a whole lot of flex when you get into a boot with a walk mode. Uh, so the end result is that the skier gets the best possible uh, performance and versatility out of, out of the boot, and this is a great example of that. Uh, we get the grip walk and the toe and the heel to go along with the DinaFit tech inserts. Uh, with, combined with that, walk mode really gives you the ultimate in versatility of being able to choose a binding, whether you go lightweight tech binding or an alpine binding that is grip walk capable. Uh, this boot is well-rounded enough to handle all of those things. Uh, we do get four micro adjustable buckles, you know, pretty much alpine style buckles here. Uh, with a locking power strap, so this is kind of the kind of the standard these days for a, like a 130 flex ski boot is these more power strap ratchet style where you just pull tight as opposed to a Velcro strap. Uh, and then we have the power lock spine here. So their spine technology we see on the Recon boots as well, um, where they connect the lower shell and the upper cuff with this rearward rearward spine. Uh, really adds to the lateral stiffness of the boot, allows you to get your energy from uh, the shell to the edge of the ski and therefore the snow a lot quicker. Uh, but they're able to add their walk mode to this as well, uh, which, is, which is pretty impressive. So up for walk, down and locked for ski, and you're off. Uh, we also have a nice heat moldable liner in here. Uh, so these ankle area pockets and then the foam down here is all heat moldable. Uh, we got the lace eyelets so you can lace this thing up for uphill uh, efficiency, kind of keeps the shell closer to you. And then a nice ridge, uh, ridged area to articulate for when you are going uphill. Uh, but really nice, uh, you know, hybrid liner, alpine and touring. Uh, you get a better sense of the range of motion when the liner's out and really see how much the shell moves back and forth. Uh, really giving you a lot of efficiency combined with that tech insert. So when you're in a tech binding and you're in uh, hike mode, you definitely get a lot of efficiency. You know, it's not the lightest boot out there, but, you know, the skier that's using this is going to want uh, that extra heft for when you get to the top and want to want to go downhill. You know, with a 130 flex boot, uh, this person is generally looking for strong downhill performance. and. That's what you're gonna get out of that nice mechanism there and the stiff plastic. So uh, combined with that 98 millimeter low volume fit, you're getting a lot of precision out of this boot combined with the versatility of tech fittings and the walk mode. Uh, so really well-rounded. Uh, check this thing out, K2 Mindbender 130 at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.